Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today we're going to take a look at the new tasks in Microsoft Teams. Um, this is a new, um, I guess, not, well, not really a new app, but a, a, a re mapping, I guess, of the Planner app in Microsoft Teams. And actually it's now bringing in um, your tasks, uh, your to-do tasks, if you will, from um, Microsoft Outlook and the to-do app, um, as well as Planner, and kind of bringing it all together in one single view. Um, so it's incredibly useful. So if you find this video useful, um, then you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just inside my um, general channel for that office guy. And what I'm talking about is this planner app just over here on the left hand side. Now I'm just going to unpin that um, and show you guys how to actually go about accessing this. So the first thing you want to do is actually click on these ellipses just here. And you'll be presented with some of these more commonly used um, apps and planner will potentially be there. If not, you can just type in planner. Um, and you'll find it here. One thing just to bear in mind at this point is that the, um, the name Planner is actually going to be changing to Tasks in the future. So um, if you can't find Planner, look for Tasks um, if you're watching this video in about a month's time or so. Um, but for now, it's still called Planner. We can find it that way. Um, but in the future, it will be updated to being called Tasks. So what I'm gonna do is click on that and we're going to install the uh, task app just here and then what i'm going to do is right click on uh, planner or, or tasks and pin it so it stays inside this channel here right once we're inside this window there are a few things that are immediately different to how planner used to look okay so you used to just be presented with all of your um tasks that have been assigned to you in in the usual kind of planner uh, way right you'd have what's due today tomorrow next week and so forth um, now they've actually got um, several different sections down on the left hand side here. So we have tasks, uh, important, planned, assigned to me, and then shared plans as well. Okay, so in tasks, uh, this is a list of tasks um, that you've added either in Outlook or in the to-do app, okay? Um, and that's where they're all being kind of gathered. Um, important is a list of tasks in the to-do app um, that have been, and including things that have been assigned to yourself um, and have been marked uh, as important. Planned is a list of all tasks in the to-do, um, including anything that's been assigned to yourself uh, that has a due date. Um, uh, and is listed uh, by due date and time, okay? And then assigned to me is uh, includes all your planner tasks uh, that have been assigned to yourself. Um, and this uh, will sync up to your planner uh, tasks in to do. So quite a few different things there that are changing. So if I just hop over to the assigned to me, you can see I have a, a task here to test. Um, and it's inside this test list of the uh, that office guy, okay? So this particular general channel has this uh, planner and I can click here and we can see more details of that but also we can just go to the assigned to me and it is there. Planned also shows you this planner um, task as well as anything else that's been assigned to you in to do okay so those two things are aggregated together. Uh, important I haven't got anything marked as important at the moment but if I did then it would also appear here and likewise if you had any tasks in the to do app or in Outlook um, they would appear here. Now this is really important because there's always been this kind of barrier um, between Microsoft Teams, uh, To Do and Outlook, okay? And arguably even um, OneNote, okay? So when we start thinking about what they've done here, uh, it's not just a matter of a facelift. And um, this is now basically trying to go full circle and um, capture all tasks uh, that potentially have been assigned to a, a user and then present that to that user in one simple screen, gathering all of this information from everywhere uh, and presenting it, right? Now I bring up uh, a couple of points here, like OneNote, um, you're able to use OneNote in meetings, for example, right? Uh, or in classrooms and you're able to make lists in there um, and the only thing in OneNote that you can currently do with those lists is send them into Outlook as tasks. Now, because of these changes that they're making in Microsoft Teams, you could argue that 
you'll be able to basically synchronize your OneNote to your Outlook and your Outlook to your Teams. And therefore, Teams still becomes a central point for all of your tasks. Okay, so you're having all of your plans coming in. You have all of your uh, potential OneNote tasks coming in. You'll have your to-do list tasks. You'll have your email tasks. Um, and everything is being gathered together in one central point. Now, these work in exactly the same way uh, than your regular apps, okay? I have really poor data here. I haven't got a lot of examples to show you. Um, but you can create tasks here uh, for to-do and, and keep it all centralized, uh, importance, etc. right? But if I go into this test task, I open it up and it's exactly the same way that you would expect to see a planner task, okay? So very easy to use uh, and navigate your way through. If you wanted to add um, sub-tests uh, or uh, you know, a checklist of items to actually do within a specific task, then you can do that as well. So I could go test uh, one, uh, test two, uh, test three, right? And I can check off each of these parts as needed. Um, and I can even, you know, give them uh, different color codes here as well. Um, so now, you know, in this particular task, I can see there's two out of three things that I have already completed. Um, I know I need to complete all three to actually finish the task off in its entirety. And you can see I also flagged it as a red label, right? So I can start labeling my tasks um, as I need to as well, which is really useful. So visually, just from a glance, I'm able to see all of my tasks all in one screen, but also what kind of progress I'm making on each of them. And, and also, if I had good categorization, I'd be able to see all the categorization by color coding as well. Um, so really useful stuff that's actually starting to happen here in Microsoft Teams. One of the biggest issues that I had with um, Planner when I was starting to use it was the, the limitations around how to actually you know, see your tasks. I don't want to see long lists of cards. Um, and actually, this actually makes it a lot easier um, at least for the organization where I work, to actually see uh, what is actually going on uh, and what's actually due and when it's due and filtering and various different things. Because you have a whole host of filter options here as well. Um, and you can filter by keywords uh, inside tasks. There's a lot that you can now do with this planner app that you wouldn't have been able to do a, a month ago or so. Um, so it's really interesting. So I can you know, go and see what's due today. I have nothing due today. Uh, what is late, uh, what is for tomorrow. So I have this task for tomorrow, right? So I can just jump straight into doing that. Um, and I can tick it off when it's done and I can pull it up. I can add notes and I can add comments. I can add attachments from SharePoint. Um, and so it's really, really useful stuff. I can also set an importance uh, priority level here, right? Um, and then I think that should, yep, yeah, go straight through into the importance section as well. So there's some kind of like pre-filters built into this new app. Um, so I do, guys, I do strongly recommend that everyone kind of goes over uh, into Microsoft Teams and checks out this new planner app uh, layout. Um, I've been aware of it for a few weeks, but it's only just hit my telnet here so I can actually see and use it um, functionally. So if you're still seeing the old version, I imagine this is still rolling out. Um, but the second that you do get this, uh, start messing around with uh, your to-do tasks, uh, out, uh, your OneNote tasks, um, and your planner tasks and start seeing and how you can interact with all of that various different data um, being gathered into a central point uh, for you. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, if you did, then you know what to do. Uh, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.